There we go. Just gushing up onto the yard right there. Hey everybody, buddy. Welcome back to another episode. I uh, just saw something from Southern Prepper One's channel, and uh, I liked what he had to say about it. It was a really cool little device, but um, you know me on the Wealth Around is I'm always trying to figure out another way for the common man to do it for cheap. And uh, what I have here is going to be the beginning of a new project we're having here. Um, what this is is a wood gas fire cook stove. And I put all this together for 13 bucks. And I noticed that you can even have ones, like, buy them off of eBay and stuff, and they're already built. But, uh, you know, they're not the highest quality. And, uh, you know, me with uh, the wealth around us and all, I wanted to, you know, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. So I wanted to go ahead and do it myself. What I came up with was some, some stainless steel cans. These are real, real tough, actually, for uh, what they're made out of. I got them at Home Depot. All this was bought at the paint section at Home Depot in the back. And uh, this stainless steel can, well, I figured this would be great for uh, boiling water and stuff like that and making uh, trail soup and food, so, uh, or bacon bannock, you know, put a cover over it. So uh, that's going to be included in the kit, and it just kind of goes over to that to uh, snuff out the fire or to hide the flame in a tactical situation. So uh, anyways, let's go over the uh, actual gas fire camp stove here. Now you'll see that I did the construction. This is no JV weld or anything like that. I'm just going to put the lid on snugly when I'm ready to use it. And uh, what we did there was just folded back some flanges after drilling a hole, uh, marked it off real well. And that is a uh, plug that goes into the top of a gutter system. So, so with those where you buy the screens for the gutter, uh, you can buy these. And it just was pre-made, already done, ready to rock. So I decided to give it a go. But uh, that is the gasifier system inside. You know, almost standard construction except this, uh, the pot stand is actually a third state. Let's see if I can get the dang light in there right. The liner is keeping it about an inch off of the exterior of that can with it so that adds another stage where air can freely get to it to the wood is not you know leaning up against the metal it's actually in a screen uh, for maximum aeration what I designed this thing to do was burn on a lower amount of fuel uh, it very intensely uh, to get the temperatures real hot and to basically replace a burner on a stove uh, like you know when the power goes out or whatnot this is a great little prepper item to have and Southern Prepper One is right you know these uh, I think the statistic is like, uh, you know, 75% of the power we use in the house goes to appliances like the oven, you know, for cooking for, you know, a bird for an hour it uses a lot of electricity and in a solar and power down off grid situation, one of these can take the place of an oven quite easily. And, uh, it's just, you know, $13 worth of parts. So that was my concept anyways. And what we got here, you may notice a gap in the vents right here. Well, this is the back of it. And this is where the uh, electronics are going to go. So I'll just keep you updated on that. But uh, tonight we're going to go ahead and just take the initial thing we built here. Uh, this uh, almost, I'm just going to call it the improved gasifier camp stove. And uh, we're going to do, we're going to give it a good burn in. And we're going to find out how it runs on uh, hardwoods. We're going to burn it in real hot with hickory. And we're going to get some uh, figures on runtime. And uh, we're going to boil some water in this, and uh, we're going to see just how well it performs. Wow. Jeez. Oh, Got it sitting on the smoker there. God, Jinx. That's my kitty trying to get to me. My goodness. What is your little problem? 
<laughs> there she goes again. She'll do it all night. Let's see if we can see what's happening down there in that wood. Yep, it's gasifying already. Almost instantly it started gasifying a little from the top and it's doing its job. It's gasifying. Big hellish plume of heat. But there you have it. Gasification in only a few minutes. Okay, the jury is definitely in. Uh, the design of the paint can, the two different paint can designs and the difference in spaces and the ventilation just really works. Yeah, it's just gasifying like hell, man. This is just the brightest, hottest flame that I've been going through about every 10, 15, 20 minutes. Let's see if I can get this for you here. Yeah, every 10, 15, I can't even tell. It's about Yeah, about 15 minutes or so. Holy crap. I'll put in stuff about that big. One piece every 15 or so minutes. I mean, that little bag right there, that would be definitely enough to keep me warm well into the wee hours of the morning. It's been burning real steadily, ooh, burning real reliably, and now that the heat actually picked up, it literally burned that little aluminum. Time must have been made of aluminum. I thought it was steel, but it wasn't, and it's literally burned it like wood. It got so hot in there, it's so hellish, that, that I don't know if you can see in the edge there, that, uh, that screen pot stand started sinking and melting, and now it's just like burned to a crisp, just like wood, it just burned it. But now that she's got burning in an actor thing, I'm pretty confident with that spout of fire right there, we can just add a uh, couple of, it's really not going to be hard at all just to put like five screws in there and make sure they're all at even lengths. I have some self-tapping screws in the garage. And I think that's what I'll do. I'll put all those in and it'll keep the, uh, I'll have it about two inches maybe an inch above that fire, yeah, about an inch, inch and a half maybe, sticking out, and uh, it'll be ready to go, and we'll be able to set that pot on it, and get a bunch of good, that, that water that I, I just put over it briefly is still hot, so it'll probably boil that six cups of water in um, probably about five, six, seven minutes, I, I estimate, we'll, uh, we'll have to check it out in the morning and all that, but as you can see, it's already gone through quite a bit of hardwood, so all you do is just take one piece like that, throw it in there, it will, you can fill it pretty full and it won't uh, spout out on you, it gasifies real well. And it only, like I said, it only uses one piece of wood like that every 15 minutes or so. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't even barely need to ha hack a good section of a log off to get your biomass. So it will work with biomass, with alcohol, with... Uh, Sterno, you can drop a sterno can down in there and do just about anything and it's going to help you uh, increase your burn time and increase your temperatures. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a very slight glow in there. As I said, that's the back of it. That's for the where the electronics are going to go. But it definitely generates a lot of heat very fast and does it with very small amounts of wood as you can see it's already almost gone through that I mean it's just raging inferno I mean the temperatures are way high so that's gonna make awesome tests I can't wait for the uh, boil test we'll go ahead and do the boil test tomorrow when I can actually get upstairs and find some screws let this thing cool off and get that remaining piece of unburnt grate out of it but uh, we'll create a better pot stand for it and she'll be ready to roll as crazy as she ever could hey Jinx my goodness. My goodness. All right, well, the stove is complete. I made some uh, adjustments, like for the, instead of the pot stand, I just decided to add these screws because they're, they're in there real good and tight. And it's real stable. It's an airtight seal. 
so uh, instead of the great, you know, have another problem with that crazy fire uh, blowing out the grate or eating it up like it did. I uh, went to pull it out last night, and there was only, out of all that wood I burned, uh, there was maybe like a teaspoon of ashes. I mean, maybe, maybe a half teaspoon of ashes. So, um, the, uh, stove is actually working a lot better now that it doesn't have the, uh, great, I mean, it, it fired up, and as you saw last night, it was just an incredible plume, but it was a little bit too much. Uh, this holds a little bit more wood in this form, and it's a little, a little more, uh, temperamental to get started, but once it does, boy, it really gets roaring, and, uh, I'm on one, my first initial piling of wood in there, and, uh, appears to be gasifying nicely so we're going to go ahead and put the uh, pot of water on so you can see this is this is all the stuff we use to get this burning um i'll be throwing a you know, couple chunks of this in later but uh what's burning in there right now is basically this i mean this is just chips and stuff you, you could you could burn bark in this thing this is a great thing about these little type of cook stoves is that uh biomass is an increasingly cool and usable source of you know combustion that uh, people are overlooking so let's go ahead and throw that water on there. And as I said, it's you know the screws are in there real tight. It's real stable. Goodness gracious, kitty cats! And uh, that's looking nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer on my phone, and we're gonna watch this stuff boil. Okay. Gotta, I gotta turn that thing off. I'm getting closer to boil. It's only been about three minutes. Uh, the water's hot in there. Great use of that pot, the screws for that pot stand, because now, I mean, it's just free, unrestricted air. Uh, I suppose it could use, I, I could make a little wind sleeve for it, which I'll probably do. And uh, But that's got great even pot coverage on that pot. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be working with a lot of other, uh, like MSR pots and stuff like that. So I might get a couple of those and try them. This was just, you know, a little $2 stainless steel uh, paint can thing, you know, bucket, utility bucket. But uh, it seems to be working out pretty good as a, a little billy can there. Might have to fashion a lid for it if it continues to uh, hold up to the abuse. Yeah, we're I guess we're starting to boil there. Got a great spread on that uh, pan, though. I'll bet you money I could deep fry on that if I just watched the flame and kept it kept the thermometer in the oil. That'd be nice to have some deep fried fish right there at the lakeside. This thing, this unit, actually, it and its can are an uncanny, like, two or three ounces. I mean, it really is, for as strong as it is, it really doesn't weigh much. And I believe it is going to start boiling here any second. Flame's really getting up good going now, all that gasification. Okay, we have reached boiling at around 14 minutes for six cups of water. It really wasn't hard to get back up and running. It kind of kind of started crapping out of me a little. I added another uh, couple pieces of uh, big chunk hickory, and uh, now it's back up to uh, speed. And we are probably approaching a rolling boil now. Yep. But the use of these biomass gasifier uh, cook stoves made out of these uh, paint cans is that they, they, they uh, last a little longer than, you know, just hacked up cans and stuff like that. That's what I was thinking. I mean, it was hard enough to get a metal drill bit to drill through it, so 
and it held up. It didn't really have any dents or anything in it anywhere from where I grabbed it and had to put my foot on it and stuff. And uh, the lid seemed to kind of temper when I uh, burned it in last night, so it's nice and tough. It was hard to get those uh, screws in there, so they provide a real good seal. But, you know, this, this was maybe not even 10 bucks worth of parts. I suppose all together with the screws and everything, you know, because I did just pay something for those a while back. I have a whole mess of them in my garage. Um, eh, I mean, this is stuff you can salvage, though. That's the thing. I mean, it's, you know, it's a paint, it's a wood stove, so, you know, you, know, you can burn any paint residue out of it or uh, just burn off, you know, anything that was in there before, like lacquer or whatnot, you know, just be sure to burn it off before you use it as a cook stove, but... In a power down situation off grid, I think I'm going to get a lot of. I'm going to put this in the FJ and get a lot of good out of it, because uh, it's it's letting off a good amount of warmth and uh, it's fairly low profile as you can see. If I had a little blinder up, set up around it, you couldn't even see it, and the smoke is so negligible that you really can't even smell it because it, you know it, it, in this process it burns off a lot more of that than a campfire would. So yeah, that's. Uh, Thumbs up. Now on to uh, turn this thing into an electric generator.